Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the World Economic Forum on the Middle East and North Africa. We are coming to you live from Dead Sea, Jordan, where we are here to talk about the Internet for All program in Jordan that we are launching today. My name is Eric White. I am the project lead for Internet for All at the World Economic Forum. The Internet for All project is about increasing multi-stakeholder collaboration to bring more Jordanians online and to advance the government of Jordan's digital transformation strategy. Through a structured program of meetings that bring together technology companies, civil society, industry, government, international organizations, and academia, Internet for, Internet for All will identify impactful partnerships to accelerate new approaches for bringing people onto the Internet and into the fourth industrial revolution. By employing a full-time project secretariat, the project will coordinate these partnerships to ensure that they achieve maximum impact. This will create millions of new internet users in Jordan. Uh, we're very lucky to have a distinguished panel with us today to talk about the new initiative. So let me just take a moment to do introductions. To my immediate left, we have Hani Rod, General Manager for the Levant for Cisco. Then we have Her Excellency um, Minister Majd Shwek, Minister of Information and Communications Technology and Minister of Public Sector Development of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. To her left, we have Ahmed al Hanande, CEO of Zane Jordan. And on the end, we have Andrew Harper, Head of the Innovation Service at the UN High Commission for Refugees. So to begin the panel, I'd like to first turn to Her Excellency Minister Shwek and ask why the government of Jordan is interested in implementing Internet for All and what you expect the project to deliver for Jordan. Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, so happy to be here today to talk about this launch, the launch of Internet for All. We strongly believe that absence of connectivity is isolation in nowadays. We have, maybe probably you have seen that Ministry of ICT and Ministry of Public Sector Development, and that's my new title, the Minister of both ministries. And the question was why? We strongly believe that Jordan should go through digitization transformational journey for its public administration. And it has many reasons. First, rule of law. Second, efficiency and effectiveness for the whole government. Third, enhancing the business enabling environment. And fourth, which is the most important to me, it's upgrading and enhancing citizen life. So internet for all, came just spot on, and we really thank World Economic Forum for this initiative, and we were extremely excited because we strongly believe that Internet for All is the mean to having proper digitization and transformation journey in Jordan. Uh, we have identified areas of weaknesses, but we have identified the opportunities. We, alhamdulillah, in Jordan, the internet penetration rate reached 80, 85%. The mobile penetration rate with a very resilient state-of-the-art infrastructure for mobile operators, we have reached 150% penetration rate on mobile. So we know that we have the readiness from uh, mindset, from infrastructure, from people who are keen and eager to use technology. In terms of infra infrastructure, we said by 2020, we will have the national broadband network, which is connecting Jordan from south to north and having the real legislations, laws and legislations, pure proper human capital skills. So we said we are ready. We identified four areas to focus on. First of all, e-government adoption, e-government services adoption. And the reason for that, we have learned from our experience that there is this fear from using internet for e-services. Well, we need to build confidence, and that's one of the main pillars for internet for all. The second one is for women empowerment. I strongly, strongly believe that connectivity is a mean of empowering women. Having access to internet, having access to what's happening in the world from educational point of view, from entrepreneurial point of view, is key and it's really influential. The third element, which is uh, very close to our hearts as well, to me, it's the Arabic content. Once we have once we have the e-services, we will have abundance of data, abundance of data. And we all know that big data is the new name of the game. So I strongly believe that 3% of Arabic content is not enough. Having the services online 
we will have all this data, which should allow, again, entrepreneurs to have the opportunity to start new services, new products, and of course, Arabic content should be the mean of having more access and more enticing, but again, relevant content, not any content. Because we know that culturally speaking, people, they go to the Facebook and to social media platforms because of communicating in Arabic. No, we would like to have added value content in Arabic in order to build their capacities and to uh, enrich their knowledge. The fourth element, which is a fact we're living, we have refugees, and it's our aim to include these refugees in our health sector, in our education sector, for the well-being of Jordan. So we have four areas of focus, e-government adoption, empowerment of women and women empowerment, third one, Arabic content, and the fourth one, refugees. Thank you. Thank you very much, Minister. So on the point of refugees, I'd like to now go down to the end of the panel and ask uh, Andrew Harper from UNHCR. Why is UNHCR interested in being involved in Internet for All? And why is it important for refugees to be connected to the Internet in the first place? Thanks, Eric. And, um, and I'd like to say that's a perfect segue from Her Excellency to, to my, um, my intervention, because uh, often the strength of a, of, of a society is, can be assessed by how, what services are being provided to the most vulnerable. <coughs> and unfortunately, in the, in the modern day and age, refugees are a reality. And the fact that the government of Jordan recognises that in the, in the World Economic Forum have brought the private sector, the government and the UN agency responsible for refugees together is, is a fantastic demonstration of a commitment that the internet for all actually means the internet for all. So if we can, if we can provide communications, digital services, including, as the Excellency mentioned, education, health, financial security, that encompasses the needs of the most vulnerable, then it makes it much easier to cover everything, everyone else. I believe that if we're talking about a, um, a generational transformed to take account of the digital revolution, then that is not just going to um, be fixated on one particular group. It needs to be looking at the entire society. And something which Jordan has recognised for some time is it is better to empower people than, to, than restrict people. And we need to empower um, refugees so they can contribute for themselves, move away from a dependency approach so they can actually contribute to the societies which has generously provided them safe haven. So we see refugees as a means to also contribute to the well-being of, of the Middle East and North Africa, but we also need the support of the international community to provide the, let's say, the safe space in which this digital transformation can be supported in countries like Jordan and, else, and elsewhere. So we see um, the digital transformation connectivity as the key to the future. Okay, thank you very much, Andrew. So then to my immediate left, uh, Mr. Rod, Cisco is a major global corporation. Could you talk a bit about um, what activities Cisco has engaged in in Jordan in connecting the unconnected and your interests in participating in Internet for All? So um, for nearly two, two decades, so we've been, we've been in Jordan for over 20 years, um, working closely for the local government with the uh, Ministry of ICT, other local stakeholders, to drive the Kingdom Digital Agenda in support of the development of a robust knowledge economy and ICT ecosystem across multiple fronts, from the ICT skills development, training, infrastructure, and, and channel developments. Um, and, and, and to us, uh, digitization, I mean, our belief that it enables countries to maintain global competitiveness. We talk about increased GDP, uh, f we foster innovation. I mean, all, the, all, all these things are really popping up as we engage in any initiative in Jordan or even in, the, uh, in our day-to-day -day development um, of the business. Um, and because of the technology landscape and its fast um, a change, um, we need there are requirements for more complex skills, uh, for skills that for jobs we don't know what they are in, in the future. Um, so our partnership with uh, the local government of Jordan um, and the introduction of the Network Academy uh, about 18 years ago. Actually, the uh, Network Academy started about 20 years ago. So for Jordan to have an 18 years ago, that means we really have an early start into developing um, a skills um, in, in Jordan with uh, 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 enrolled over 16,000 um, students. We enroll currently about um, 
uh, almost 3,500 a year, 41% of them are female. So when we talk about uh, women empowerment, uh, you see it, you feel it. This is one of the highest in, in, in the globe in terms of uh, uh, women. Um, not only this, we've introduced entrepreneurship and IoT uh, courses. We are looking at uh, Arabization of some of the academic content with uh, Just. So all of them are in line with, with what you're talking about in order to really kind of accelerate the, uh, the adoption, digitization, and also improve some of the skills. So it's not like just we're looking at, okay, teach him IT or teach him, um, you know, computer and so on. So it, it's more, it's beyond. It's now we're moving about unleashing the innovation and the creativity of the students, uh, equip them with different, uh, 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 you know, thought leadership uh, approach with um, out-of-the-box thinking, uh, we ran um, uh, together uh, with the MOICT uh, some um, uh, um, um, software development uh, camps here over a couple of days recently, which was the first in the Middle East. So you see a lot of activity happening in Jordan that are leading um, within, the, uh, within the region that we'd like to actually um, strengthen that partnership with the government of Jordan. And with the initiative of the Internet for All, this is, comes exactly in line with, uh, with the acceleration that Her uh, Excellency also has been pushing us to participate in. And, but as, as, as previously mentioned, we need to work together to bring this connectivity together. It, can, it cannot be done alone. So without the public-private partnership, without the stakeholders coming, uh, sitting around uh, the table, thinking collectively, putting a proper milestones, um, looking at the various hurdles and try to remove those obstacles as we move forward, we can't just rely on the government to do it on their own. Even the citizens have their role. They have to embrace technology. Um, otherwise, we will lose the edge of, um, of acceleration. So um, I, just, I also want to mention that Cisco is involved in a number of region, uh, regional Internet for All projects. So this is not our first. So we've done uh, uh, one for the African Corridor, Northern Corridor. We're involved in, in, in Argentina, Buenos Aires, Internet for All. We want to replicate what we've learned there. We want to bring it to Jordan. And we want to not, not replicate it, but actually learn from what we've done there and come out with something that people will replicate what we will do here. So I think we want to make sure that, uh, that we innovate, we take it even further, and, uh, and, and, and make, make Jordan our model. So we're very, very, very pleased to be part of this initiative. We look forward to work together on making it a success uh, under your leadership as well. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Rod. And last, but very certainly not least, uh, Mr. Ahmed al Hanande is the CEO of Zane Jordan. So as one of the leading telecommunications operators in Jordan, how do you see um, Internet for All contributing to um, the creation of uh, a broader internet user base in the country? And what is Zane's interest in participation and contribution to the project? Thank you very much, Rick. I'm, 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 I'm happy today that uh, I'll, I'll be talking for the uh, telecom industry in Jordan and on behalf of the telecom industry in Jordan, not only Zane. Uh, and why we as telecom operators uh, uh, would be interested to uh, get involved in, in such initiative. To be honest, the, uh, the industry has been investing heavily into growing the um, internet infrastructure in Jordan and uh, it has been major and tremendous efforts from all operators to come up to the stage of um, uh, reach um, the coverage as well as uh, um, diversification of speed and capacity that is available in Jordan uh, and it has been always uh, a main objective for us to reach every single corner of this country. Internet for all for us means <coughs> not only the connectivity to the internet but it means what kind of internet that, that we are trying to secure for all. Is it the educational internet? Is it the health internet? Is it the, um, uh, the building capacity internet? Is it the e-commerce internet? Um, I, was, I was hearing, you know, I was in a session yesterday and, and it, was, it was said clearly that the major channels of spending for consumers are being disrupted, uh, which means uh, 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 consumers are going to uh, the need uh, 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 is going to be unleashed uh, very soon 
for consumers to be on the online world and do transactions on the online world because it's efficient, it's cost effective, um, uh, uh, and, and it's faster than uh, 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 going and, and, and uh, spend offline. Accordingly, the, the online world has to be ready for that. The base for it is the internet. The, uh, uh, the main requirement of the infrastructure for the online world is the internet. Um, and uh, as we talk about the digitization and the transformation, uh, where the internet is going to be the main pillar for the uh, transformation and digitization in Jordan, uh, it, it becomes very, very clear for everybody that we'll have to be uh, part of these efforts and we'll have to uh, coordinate and cooperate with all the stakeholders and Internet for All gives us that chance you know, to be part of a joint efforts in Jordan uh, and that will help us to direct our investments for the future. Uh, that will help us to uh, uh, be more responsive to the needs and requirements of the users of the Internet uh, um, in, in each and every uh, sector, in each and every uh, geographical location in Jordan. Uh, and, and from there, uh, 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 I think, uh, and plus our target to maximize the utilization of the Internet infrastructure in Jordan for the purpose of uh, securing uh, um, uh, better revenue streams for for uh, for an infrastructure that that uh, that actually uh, uh, got a huge uh, amount of money invested into building it and and maturing it to the level where it is today. Um, from there, we uh, we found uh, uh, this initiative uh, um, as, as as a great initiative for us to be involved in for us to support, uh, for us to play a major role into it in order to achieve the uh, mutual uh, interest uh, and to secure the mutual, uh, um, or actually it secures uh, a mutual interest for, for all stakeholders from the consumer part, corporate uh, and private sector, government, as well as telecom operators. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. So with that, I'd like to open the floor to uh, questions from the audience. So a couple of points on how we're going to do this. So when you ask a question, we've got a microphone in the back that will come to you. So please raise your hand, state your name, your organization, um, and ask your question clearly and succinctly. Please questions, not comments. Uh, and also please keep your questions on topic. So we have uh, several minutes, so the floor is open. Which one you want? Two or three. Thank you. Thank you. Hello to all. Um, this is a very exciting initiative. I'm Janet Longmore with Digital Opportunity Trust uh, and DOT, uh, globally in DOT here in Jordan. Um, we all know and we've heard from the uh, past few days about the power of young people as early adopters of technology. And so I'd love to hear from the panel. As you know, DOT is engaged and partnering with you uh, as well, and we mobilize young people. But how do you really see, and how can we look at ensuring that there is support for the role that young people can play in building digital literacy skills, reaching out to women, uh, moving into more marginalized communities, and driving that adoption and creativity in the use uh, of, the, of the tools that are out there? Thank you. Let's take a couple of questions, um, and then we'll answer all of them together. Okay, this is Vega Jazim from Jordan News Agency. My question to Mr. Mrs. Uh, Majdi Shweka: um, What is the impact of this initiative on on the society regarding uh, creating uh, jobs and also the competitiveness? Thank you. Okay. Can we have another question that we can take as well? In the back. شكرا فيصل بصبوس التلفزيون الاردني اسمح لي اسال بالعربي وسؤالي موجه لمعالي الوزيره بالامس تحدث ولي العهد واسمح لي ان اقتبس جزء من كلمته نحن لسنا فقط مستهلكين للتكنولوجيا بل مبتكرين ونملك شباب يقودون الابتكار والتغيير وابتكروا حلولا وخدمات تواكب عصرنا الحديث سؤالي الى اين يصير الى اين يسير قطاع التكنولوجيا في الاردن وهل سنرى Thank you very much. So um, 
Because we don't have translation, so I'm okay. just going to throw the sure. floor to the minister, sure. and she can address them, okay. and then we can. Uh, I'll skip the youth because I'm sure uh, it can be covered. Uh, I can speak about it, but I'd rather focus on the two other questions: uh, impact on society and creating jobs. <clears throat> Maybe you have heard about Reach 2025 initiative, uh, which is, of course, it is an initiative by His Majesty, and we worked heavily with all stakeholders on reaching digitization or digital economy for Jordan by 2025. When we did our analysis, we found that our competitive edge in Jordan is our human capital. And we have a very resilient infrastructure. We have very enabling legislation. We have very, let's say, advanced and modern way of thinking. We have the political will. We said, let's take all these components and see how can we integrate the technology in every other sector. For example, in transportation, in health, in education, in clean tech, in fintech. When we looked at this study and we did our analysis, we found out that if we go this path, we definitely empower entrepreneurs. It will be a great opportunity for them to create new companies. I wouldn't say new jobs, but creation of companies will be a result of this direction. Our estimate that if we go this path with the plan we have, which is infrastructure, regulation, uh, advanced programs, and human capital, we will be able to have probably around 130 to 150,000 new jobs between now and 2025. That's why it's very important that we have the platform for that. The platform for that is internet for all. That's why we believe that this is spot on and it's one of the enablers when we speak about the digital transformation. I haven't talked about our plans, but I will speak about our plans. Uh, may I speak in Arabic? <coughs> okay. أهم إشي من خطوات الحكومة الآن إنها وضعت بالخطة التحفيزية الخطة الاقتصادية التحفيزية موضوع الرقمنة. الرقمنة وما إجت هاي هيك إجت بناء على دراسة. إنه وجدنا إنه الحمد لله رب العالمين بالأردن عم نتميز بسرعتنا بالتأقلم مع التكنولوجيا يعني لما حكى أخ أحمد عن التكنولوجيا بالفعل صار في انفستمنت واستثمارات كتير كبيرة بقطاع الاتصالات تكنولوجيا المعلومات وصار الاعتماد على الموبايل لما بنحكي إي government بطلت الدنيا تقول إي government صاروا يحكوا سمارت government لأنه بغض النظر كيف توصل للإنترنت سواء عن طريق الموبايل أو عن طريق الكمبيوتر بدك اكسس بدك اتاحه للانترنت على اساس صرنا نعتمد عليه بحياتنا اليوميه صار جزء من حياتنا اليوميه والاجتماعيه والاقتصاديه والسياسيه والثقافيه بكل المراحل فبهمنا احنا هاي الاداء صرنا نحكي لها انها عداله رقميه تكون موجوده بين جميع المواطنين منها تمكين للمجتمعات وانا بجوز ما حكيت كثير عن دور مكاتب البريد و محطات المعرفة في التحول الرقمي لأنه بالنسبة لي هدول موجودين أنا دائما بقول ثروة وطنية غير مستغلة وجود مكاتب البريد وجود محطات المعرفة لازم يكونوا مراكز خدمة مجتمعية رقمية لازم يصير في إتاحتهم أنه بالفعل تطوير بعض المهارات تمكين الشباب ومرة مبارح أول مبارح لما اقتصرنا قالوا لي شو بتستفيدوا من إنترنت فور أول قلت لهم أدوكيت إمباور انجيج علم مكن انجيج معناته اشركهم للجميع سواء من ناحيه تعليميه او ثقافيه او اجتماعيه او صحيه فاحنا بالنسبه لنا موضوع الانترنت فور اول صار واجب علينا وصار مسؤوليه كثير كبيره لانه الانترنت صار زيه زي الكهرباء زي المي وجود الانترنت في كل بيت من أهم الأساسيات اللي عم نشتغل عليها سوري إريك اي هاد تو سبيك ان عربي ثانك يو ابسوليتلي فاين would anyone else like to comment on uh, any of the questions that on were the asked? Youth. We have a few more minutes. <clears throat> I'll just yeah. go. Probably, it's probably just not only youth. I think what we have to be looking at is, is providing a digital learning opportunity and engagement for everyone. Um, and then give options no matter who they are. Because I think also just focusing on youth misses people who have missed out on a learning experience due to no fault of their own. So I think it's, it's the issue of making sure that um, the internet is available for all, accessible for all, um, and people have the digital literacy to, ha to also use it correctly as well. Like yeah. I, we understand the concerns in the region. 
So it's more about empowering for the good while mitigating potential risks. Okay. Uh, to be um, honest, on the, on, on the youth part, I would comment and you know, I would agree and disagree with Harper on what oh, he, he said. But the, uh, <laughs> but the thing is, I have to agree with you that the focus has to be on the youth. I'm happy to see uh, youth attending the World Economic Forum mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, uh, this year. Uh, uh, and I was happy to see that they're looking to the future positively yeah. uh, because of technology. Uh, every single entrepreneur I met in the World Economic Forum this year see, see his future in technology. The thing is, those are the selective group that we brought into the World Economic Forum. We want the whole youth of Jordan to see a potential uh, for themselves in technology. To be able to do that, they have to be familiar with technology and they have to be um, experienced with technology and they have to see the opportunities actually that is there in the technology. And the technology revolution is going to create a revolution in the job availability for the youth when they grow up. Um, everybody knows that the older studies say more than 50% of the jobs that are available today are not going to be available tomorrow because of technology and there are new jobs that will be created. 60% of the, of, the, of the kids uh, in schools today are going to work in jobs that they don't exist actually today. So uh, uh, at the end of the day, this is all driven by technology. Uh, and I agree with you on you know, the focus in the Arab world in specific, where the youth represent the majority of the community, where in five years from today, we're going to need 10 times the jobs that we need today because of the number of people graduating every year from the school. Uh, I see that there is a huge potential in technology being uh, the answer to all the questions and the main a solution to most of the challenges youth are going to face in the very near future. So I have to agree with you that we have to build the capacity of youth when it comes to technology. We have to secure that they understand that internet is not just a connectivity. It's a platform full of opportunities where they can create their jobs online rather than go and try to find a job and search for a job offline. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, we are out of time. So what I would like to do is thank the panelists very much uh, for their excellent contributions. Thank you in the media and in the audience for attending. And this concludes the Internet for All press conference. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Eric.